Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing off more vendors that you can get free gold from. Some of them are going to be horde only, some of them are going to be alliance only, but I tried to make sure that if it is horde or alliance only, there's an equivalent vendor for the opposite faction. And I also tried to include a lot of neutral vendors that both factions have access to. I did this same video concept a couple weeks ago, and if you want to watch the first video, you can. Link will be in the description. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Alright, this one sells some leather boots. This one is in the Sepulcher in Silver Pine Forest, but there is uh, three other vendors. One is Alliance only and two are neutral that also sell it. Um, one of them I think is the Defias Profiteer. There's a list on screen and you can buy the Agile boots from any of them. This one is the Venture Co. Merchant. He sells some green weapons. You can flip for a couple gold. He also sells the schematic for your Goblin Jumper Cables. This guy you can get whenever you're running to Wailing Caverns, if you see him walking by, he walks between Ratchet and the Crossroads, and he sells just a bunch of greens, almost all of them you can buy and flip on the auction house to people that want to buy them for leveling or whatever else. I've noticed that the Feral Blades sell really good. This vendor is on the second level of the inn in the Stone Talon Mountains for the Horde. The Alliance equivalent is in South Shore, and they sell the recipe for the fire protection potion, which presumably will be valuable next phase uh, when people can start to learn it and craft it, and also uh, at max level when you need fire protection potions for uh, molten core or whatever else. A lot of people would probably prefer the cheap fire protection potions over the greater fire protection potions if they're doing something like a BRD or whatever, or whatever people use fire protection potions for. This vendor is right behind the flight path when you get to the Horde Village in Stone Talent Mountains. The alternative for the Alliance is in the village in Ashenvale, and they sell the recipe Minor Agility to Cloak, and they also sell the Lesser Strength to Bracer Enchant, both of which are very good right now at the level 25 cap. This guy is the tailoring vendor in Orgrimmar, but it's the same for every tailoring vendor in every major city. They sell the invokers recipes that were added to Saw, and they also sell a bunch of limited quantity recipes for tailoring. This guy likewise is the enchanting vendor that you can find in every major city, and they just sell a bunch of limited quantity enchanting recipes. This one had uh, two hand weapon damage on it and also minor mana to chest. Alright, so in Booty Bay there's a lot for us to buy. First we're going to hit up the tailoring vendor and he's got a couple recipes that we can buy. Um, not all these recipes are going to be available in the 1 to 25 level range, but a lot of them become available in the 150 to 225 range, which will be next phase, which um, I think is worth buying early. We also have the leatherworking vendor, he's going to sell us a recipe. And two doors over at the blacksmithing place, there is a vendor that sells a couple greens. Not very good greens, so I wouldn't buy them, but you can check. In the engineering place where the guy sells the parrots and all the weapon vendors are, you can find a engineering guy that sells accurate scopes. The recipe for the accurate scope, rather. And there's a guy across the room from him that sells some greens. I wouldn't buy them, but you can check and see if it's worth buying it for you. Next we've got the alchemy guy. He sometimes sells these for protection potions. The nature protection potion could end up being very good next phase in Nomergon because there's some bots that um, spew poison and poison counts as nature damage. And now we're in the Terran mill and this guy just sells a bunch of tailoring recipes. This guy inside the inn sells the recipe for the shadow protection potion
You can also buy this in Ashenvale if you're Alliance. And before we leave Terran Mill, remember that this guy from the last video that walks between South Shore and Terran Mill is very overpowered. He sells a lot of items that you can just make an insane profit margin on. And he's available to the Alliance and the Horde, of course, because he's a goblin. So leaving Terran Mill, this one you might die a couple times trying to get to. This one is the Frost Oil Vendor, and he's located behind all the ogres in the Altrak Mountains. He also sells like a couple greens or something, I think. I don't really know what he sells besides the Frost Oil. Uh, but the recipe for Frost Oil is very sought after, and, and even right now you can make quite a bit of profit with it. So as you can see, I died a couple times trying to get to this vendor, and then I finally got to the vendor, and he did have the frost oil. So it's a bit of good and a bit of bad, because it's annoying to get to this guy, but when you do get to him, you know that there's probably nobody else there. Here's one in Desolus for the Horde. It's at the Kodo Graveyard. It's the Azure Silk Gloves. They're good for frost. If you're Alliance, you can get the same pattern by going to the upper part of the wetlands, sort of um, nearby where the recipe for the Minor Recombobulator is from the last video. This one is also in Desolus. It's available to both factions, and the vendor sells a lot of limited quantity recipes, and they also sell scrolls. The scrolls in particular are valuable now because they are the level 20 scrolls. And there's also some recipes that you can get that you can learn right now from this vendor. It's just that most of them, most of them are going to be available next phase. They are some really good recipes though, like the Dragon Breath Chili recipe is going to be an insanely expensive recipe probably. Uh, because the Dragon Breath Chili is very good and it will be a needed DPS consume for parsing in next phase. So this one's Alliance only, it is the Holy Protection Potion and it's in the upper part of Duskwood and it's a, a goblin vendor that sells you the recipe. I guess technically it's a uh, both faction recipe but it's way up here in the middle of nowhere in uh duskwood holy protection potion probably not the best recipe in the game but uh it's a rare recipe nonetheless and he also sells the goblin jumper cables and then finally for all the forsaken levelers once you hit uh silver pine forest you can go up to the north coast where you do the quest to kill the uh spiders in the mine and you can go talk to this fisherman, and he will sell you cooking recipes um, that are cheap, and you can pick up as you're questing. So that's every vendor in this video. If you know any more vendors, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for recommending me the Shadow Protection Potion guy in Terran Mill. That was a comment suggestion from my last video. So if you know any vendors you don't mind sharing, leave them in the comments. And uh, like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.